All right, all right, all right, Aries, keep it there, please. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it one more time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021, baby. We here to have some fun. I want to send a big happy birthday shout out to all my Aries that has celebrated their birthday or that will be celebrating their birthday. Happy birthday to all my Aries. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies, to all my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading go ahead and hit that description box of this video shoot me a message on instagram um, if you would like to send any love to the page any support all of those links are in the instagram section in the instagram section is in the description section or you can also check out the about tab on my youtube page all right so listen aries again i want to wish you guys a happy happy birthday we're going to get into y'all reading today and you know we're going to as always give thanks to the creator father god the universe however it is that you connect with him whatever it is that you would like to call him so if you wouldn't mind just bow your head and close your eyes with me let's just give thanks so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of aries thank you again for bringing us through to see another year to celebrate our birthdays in the name of jesus father god we are just so so happy to just you know just being in this place where we're enjoying the springtime the season changes things are starting to waken up and just you know the sun is shining brighter we having longer days and just you know being able to really enjoy Enjoy our state of existence right now father god we just feel covered in blessings and love and we're just ever so thankful father god for you just creating us divinely the way that you have please give us the guidance that we need to receive today for the sign of aries give us you know every little bit of tidbit of nourishment and guidance that we need to receive for our body and our soul in christ in jesus name amen amen and amen all right so I'm just going to like, I got a bevy of cards here, you guys. I'm just going to pick one card from each deck. I kind of have like general and career over here and I got love over here. So we just going, you know, mix and mingle with it, okay? So let's see what we got going on, all right? So Father God, give us guidance for Aries, all right, for April. Give me guidance for Aries for April. One card. Thank you so much. Oh my God, give me one card for Aries, please. Give me one card. I'm going to take one off this up. Maybe take this one from the bottom. All right. Let me see. For Aries in business and career. Oh, y'all got Martha Stewart. All right. I like Miss Martha. She know how to reinvent herself. You know, no, no matter what type of bull crap she done went through, legal or whatever, she'll come back and reinvent herself, okay? She know how to hustle. I like that. I like me some Miss Martha, okay? Miss Martha got my respect, okay? Let me see what's going on over here in the archetype. You got the father. You got the father. I like this kind of dog. And if you kind of think of, like, Miss Martha, Miss Martha Stewart, she kind of gives you a very, um, I want to say a very docile and calm, uh, masculine, feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has that, um kind of smooth touch with her you know how like whenever you talk to men they don't their emotions don't get raveled they don't like get excited too quickly like most like females do i kind of get that kind of like gracefulness and that kind of dominant presence from martha stewart let's check this out real quick it says be a life support system spring cleaning is always in season hello <laughs> hello it says turn your cottage industry into a castle so this right here is my success uh deck over here that we're using and you guys got the martha stewart like archetype along with the father so what this is basically telling me it's like they're saying something about grooming because either you guys are like a masculine energy that very dominant 
father type that it's like a well groomed individual y'all know we just watched that versus with um earth wind and fire versus the isley brothers y'all know how uh mr biggs came through looking <laughs> well groomed and dapper <laughs> giving the father energy hello hello giving the father energy hello in the name of jesus yes i'm just getting like as you are like a very um i want to say a very docile you don't again you don't like excite or anger very easy you are very very chill it's like you'll have a very um it's it's there's no middle ground with you do you understand it's acts like you're either you're hot or you're cold and it takes a lot for someone to get you upset or unravel you you always have this gracefulness and you always about your business you're about your stability you're about your security you're about your family you're about your health like this could be like a male in uh, energy that's like very much so into fitness when i see the tree i think of health growth maturity someone that had standard the test of time like they were able to survive through many storms so like they've been here for a while so you know what i'm saying like yeah this person has been here like this could be someone like this in their 50s you know like they might just be with this number two up here as well i feel like they're um it's like they're in their second wind of life you understand like they might have just uh I don't know because I'm, I'm starting to honestly feel like when you step into that 40, 50 age range, that's kind of like you guys just turning 20. If y'all make it, if that's making any sense, you remember when you guys were teenagers and you just couldn't wait to be legal. You just couldn't wait to, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when you hit that 40, 50 range, that's when you grown, grown. But I feel like 40 is the new 20, like for real, 50 is the new 30, like y'all are in y'all graceful prime and season like i feel like this is a very mature group right here this is the father energy very very mature with this martha stewart car here i feel like you guys are definitely um you're the strong one in the family you're the entrepreneur you're the one that hold everything together um it's either you're attracting an energy like this or just in business in general you have this martha stewart approach like um it's something that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that people need on a day-to-day -day basis. It could be getting your car fixed. You know, that's something that you can do at home in your, you know, driveway. Like, it says take your cottage industry and turn your cottage industry into a castle. So, I don't know if you guys, like, have, like, a, um, a LLC or something like that. Get into the tax laws. Learn how much, what portions of your house you can write off for your rent. Um... I've been watching this lady, um, I forget what her name is, but she's been talking about um, hire your kids as your employees that you can, you know, hire, look, you can put the money into home. You could turn your little small thing that you do from your little basement, from your attic, from your uh, garage, from your, uh, you know, your little studio in your house. You can turn that into something major. You could turn that into something major, something that's going to bring some type of stability and growth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Something that will stand the test of time is what I'm getting. So think about what you're doing in your day to day. Again, be a life support system. Whatever this is, is something that people need. Like this industry will never go out. You're always going to need an auto mechanic. You're going to need you're going to need people in the beauty industry. No matter what is going on, people going to want to feel pretty. You're going to need chefs. You're going to need you know what I'm saying? A uh, 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 daycare people. To, you know all that type of stuff. So just think about this. It, I'm even seeing in the greenery in the background that you can even be like someone that does agriculture, that grows fruits and vegetables. You could turn that into. Um, selling the seeds of your crops and things like that, like putting your crops in competitions and everything. It's just, I don't know. I don't want to keep going on. But anyway, let's see how we're expounding on that. I definitely feel like someone is like stepping into their age. I don't know if it's like very mature, but never really kind of gracefully stepped into it that age where it's like you're acting that age and you're really taking charge of you're really like grasping <laughs> maturity okay and then you got the three of cups i like this 
this is networking this is going out getting to know people like exchanging information with new uh people um I want to say just like accepting all offers, all invitations. Um, it's like your hands are wide open. You got a lot of business cards that you've been passing out. Um, I want to say that you've just been enjoying yourself a little bit. Um, I Whenever I get this Three of Cups card, it reminds me of someone that appreciates good company and knows that if you want wellness and abundance in your life, you have to surround yourself by people doing good things in our life. People that want to see the growth. People that want to see the happiness. People that are constantly doing doing positive things and surrounding yourself around well to do people that are inspiring them to continue their growth you understand hanging around like the upper echelon the elite you know um like it's it's, it's something about like some type of organization setting that i'm getting here um it's like y'all party and y'all play hard but y'all get to business and that's when y'all celebrate like after a a big business venture like closing or something like yeah we 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 finally closed this deal so we're celebrating and y'all might celebrate a lot you know what i'm saying this group because y'all are always <laughs> pulling shit together i feel like this is a network of uh amazing people that have a lot to celebrate for you may see three successes coming into fruition very soon and i love this energy it is definitely giving me spring and summer vibes so y'all just watch out because good luck comes in threes baby all good things come in threes they say bad luck coming in threes good luck coming in threes too so just watch yourself watch your opportunities and again like engage with new people don't be afraid to engage with new people let's see what we got here it's the life purpose card okay 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 all right, got body work. I, you know, <laughs> all the areas that I don't have a ton of tattoos. You got body work, so like you could be focusing on that's saying in weight gaining, body structure, like body building, like building like your mus, your mus, muscular structure, like kind of defining like your weight gain. So I don't know if there are some of you guys like you like built up a little weight gain or something like that so it's like i ain't really tripping on it it looked good on me i just needed to find that i just need to tone it up i just need to make it healthy and fit so you guys could definitely be focused on y'all's body right now i'm not i'm definitely not getting losing weight i'm getting toning weight and like i'm even seeing someone it's like you know how people be in all fours but they're taking their leg back and forth it's like they're toning up their their booty you know what i'm saying the gluteus maximus you're trying to give the gluteus maximus you know what i'm saying trying to give it yes volume okay so and it says your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy energy healing physical therapy or exercise training and i'm also getting tattoo artistry as well most definitely Anything that can beautify or define and accentuate the beautiful assets of your body. That's basically what I'm getting here. Um, let's go over here to the little fortune cards. Let me guide us here for my Aries in regards to overall, you know, general energy. Again, success and career. I definitely see you engaging with a lot of new people and have a lot of celebrate for. Um, I, I'm, I'm really getting that this is a special time in your life. This is a very special time in your life. Like, this is what you've been waiting for. Like, just celebrate it. Enjoy it. Like, bask in it. Like, don't let nothing else or nobody else distract you from the business that is at hand here because this is big business this is lucrative business this is something that's going to give you strength and you know really give you that stability that you've been looking for and it's like something that's no stress sweat off your back it's something that you enjoy doing that you would do for free and that you do on a regular basis so it's like nothing to you you know what i'm saying it's actually a preferred skill of yours so you know it's like enjoy <laughs> like enjoy enjoy and again i'm getting it you're going to like your body of work 
you're going to like your body of work when it all comes down to it. You're going to celebrate about this body of work. I like this. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Give me one card for my Aries. Thank you so much. Okay. What is this? You got the love card, Aries. You got the love card. All right. The love shack. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> And then you got the six of hearts. So the six of hearts, that definitely represents like a masculine energy. I don't know if this is like a masculine energy that's like falling in love again. Um, I feel, I don't know. I feel like your hair is like very full. I don't know, like a full beard. I don't know if your facial hair has just been growing in real thin thick and just luscious or whatever and you just like you know well, let me just go ahead and put some little you know I like the guys be putting a little beard oils and stuff it be shining and it be smelling all good and stuff and you kiss him you be like oh ooh, what's that you smell mm. you know I don't know like I just again I'm getting like a well groomed individual like a well freaking groomed individual and you know Aries is an apex predator so I don't know if you guys are just feeling very generous with your time and your energy um I you know like definitely not like major courting but definitely like I feel like you're putting yourself out there again. Um, it could be, uh, and again, like I'm supposed to be tying this into like business and overall, but you know, this is just your overall. So I just feel like this could be like new creativity and just like you just feeling very energetic and just full of yourself right now. And it's just like I'm going for what I want. Like I just feel. Like, I'm floating right now. Like, shit is just really coming my way. And, like, I just had this awakening. And I'm just really going for it, everything that I want. Like, if I want it, I'm going to take a shot at it. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I definitely feel like a level of strife here. What is this? This here is the some money card. You know, that was still in the deck, but it still came out. It came out in the reverse. So, um, it, like, what I'm kind of getting is, like... And this is what the seven of clubs. So the seven of clubs is like someone in a position where um, it's like they're working too hard for some chump change. That's kind of what I'm getting. Working too hard. And it's like in fear of like exhaustion because it's like I don't know if you're having to put in a lot of hours in whatever you're getting it's just a little bit of money that's barely uh tipping the threshold of what you need to pay and what you need to do i feel like you guys are adjusting that because again i definitely feel like you have a major body of work already your father you're thinking about just being mature as fuck, what, what, what's best for my family? What can I do that I'm not going to have to work as hard, but I'm going to get paid plentiful and I'm going to enjoy what I'm doing? Because it's something about Martha Stewart enjoyed what she was doing. And that's why she was successful. Do you understand? So it's like, <clears throat> I'm not about to work hard for pennies. It's something that you're flirting with. It's something that you're going after. It's something that makes you feel comfortable. It's something that makes you feel you. And I definitely feel, feel like you're falling in love with it again. And you're getting over this grief of trying to fit into a society norm of whatever. You know, people think after it's something about, listen, to, I'm about to make my best investment me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to invest in taking this and making it that. Do you understand? Because this right here is not paying me enough. I'm not getting enough out of it. Not emotionally or physically with the dividends. So I just, it is, I, I don't, I don't want that with this love and this some money being flipped in the reverse. Like, no, nah, this, 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 all of that for this. And let me real quick, let me clarify the, um, seven of clubs. The seven of clubs is an increase of activity or change in business 
or social situations, physical or mental effort, including yard work, housework, home repairs, even fixing a car, attention to detail, carefully evaluating the situation and making decisions um, very carefully before taking actions, keeping busy, the risk of work overload, the need to rest and relax, preoccupied with work. This card is the card of a workaholic. There could be negotiations, disagreements, arguments, or feelings of restlessness and discomfort, taking on too much, trying to make the best of a difficult situation. And clearly you see this is the some money card. So, you know, like you're increasing your work and you still ain't getting what you need. Uh -uh. No, ma'am, Miss Pam, I do not like green eggs and ham. I, I'll, I'll pass, baby. That's, that's not suitable for I, I, no the six of hearts represents a love relationship a friendship or emotional security gallantry courage remember i'm saying like this ain't working out courage faith trust compassion an emotional connection a past life a soul connection the masculine energy a male lover a brother a son a bachelor an unmarried man anything generally associated with the male gender such as a toolbox a tie facial hair etc so again and I again I said something about yard work it could be landscaping it could be you doing um, auto mechanic stuff in your yard I mean Taking something that you do at home and make it, it your next best investment. Something that you do regularly for free is about to pop off on you because having that faith and that love and that courage and you just like nah I'm 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 busting my shot. I'm taking shots at whatever it is. I'm taking my aim and I'm aiming directly for what I want. Cause this ain't this ain't working for me. Your body of work is going to be very suitable for other people. People are going to admire your work and they're going to want to work with you and they're going to want to network with you. And I definitely feel like a level of success and celebrations coming into your life. Let's check out what's going on with Love Aries. We pulled out the old trustees. All right. And child, I see that they're selling these knockoff cards now. Child, I'm glad I got me some original ones. Okay. <laughs> Before they stop selling the originals, girl, because listen, you see, mine's is old, Jeff. Oh, you just got okay, okay, two. We could take two for you. You got the honeymoon and worth waiting for. I like that. I like that. The honeymoon and worth waiting for. So, I definitely feel like you guys are in this stage where you guys have just been patient, been waiting. Um, been trying to stay encouraged and love. Um, you could be vacationing a lot with that honeymoon card because I don't necessarily think that the honeymoon has to do with. Uh, you could be in a honeymoon stage with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have just, like, jumped out there, did something different with your life, stepped out on faith, encouraged, and you start anew. And it's like, hmm, since I got all this time with myself, why not travel? Why not enjoy myself? Why not be in love with myself? Let me check out what my future is going to be. So my next relationship, I know exactly where I want to go for my vacation, for my honeymoon. I know where I want to get married at. I want to have a destination. I want to go back to Venice. I want to go back to Hawaii and get married on the beach. I want to, you know, it's just like, I feel like you're filling your life up with every part of your hopes and dream right now that you can manage so that later whatever you didn't get to do you get to double back and do it all over again but with a different experience the next time um i definitely i feel like you guys have been traveling like shit this year um or will be traveling like shit this year um that work waiting for is a very important card because a lot of people they feel like they have to do something just to be doing something. And not really waiting for something that is quality versus quantity. You know, um, sometimes situations can be a little dry. Uh, 
And you can have a lot of people calling your phone, making their way towards you and everything. But if they're not making the right impression, if they're not able to do for me what I can do for myself and then some, you know, like, what's the purpose of it? What's the purpose of it? Oh, good. Okay, come on. Go ahead, phone and, and, and Okay, I thought I was about to have to get up. Okay. So, it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, again, divine timing is at play. And with all this traveling and everything, you know, you be looking good when you travel. You're at your best, bestest when you're traveling and enjoying yourself. Divine timing. You never know what you may bump into on one of them little vacations, honey. <laughs> so let's see what we got here in love. Give me one card for Aries in love, please. Give me one card for Aries in love. Oh. Okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. So real quick, I'm just going to address this. This is the Queen of Wands and the reverse that's what this came out this came out in reverse in the deck so i do want to address this and i'm going to address the four pinnacles and then i'm gonna go oh lord oh child okay anyway listen we ain't got time to deal with all that aries i ain't got time to be dealing with all that mental shit y'all be having chomped up and i ain't got time to deal with y'all shit going on up in y'all head i'm gonna tell you right now because i just seen them cards they ain't gonna come back it was toxic it was abusive you deserve better than that get over it stop thinking about it so we can move the fuck on y'all got me Okay, so listen, um, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse and then the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like right now you guys are being a little stingy with your time and with your energy um, because you feel like these people are not worth the investments. Again, like I feel like you have to spend your money on yourself, going on vacations, being with your friends, doing what you want to do right now. Um, and again, the Queen of Wands in the reverse to me, she is someone who can be a little bit... Um, overtly flirty or something like that like that's the only way I'm mean, that's the best way I could put it you know what I'm saying so you may be just having a little fun and just enjoying yourself right now but at the same time right not really giving up too much you know what I'm saying so it's like you could be giving off the impression like okay because I'm gonna put it to you like this okay so the Queen of Wands in the reverse, she is someone that is very either argumentative, fussy, fighty, bitchy. Um, you may have to walk around eggshell. She could be very quick tempered and just like I want to say verbally, could even physically abusive. Like um, she could use her beauty for the wrong way. Um, she could be promiscuative, uh, promiscuous, whatever. Anyway. But with his four of pentacles, because again, with those other cards that I just put back, I see and I know why. I see and I know why you're like that. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all let that shit go. And if y'all need to go further with that, y'all going to have to reach out to me personally. But it's like, I feel like you took back everything you own. You're holding on to your possessions. You're holding on to everything that's important to you. And that's your time. That's your energy. And, you know, it's like. Even your patience, like your patience is something that is valuable to you. You don't have patience for bullshit. So it's just like, I don't, you could be flirting with people. You could even be having sex with people, but you could be mean to them. You could come off like you're just using them for sex. Like, um, you could be using your beauty to like, <laughs> to get what you want for people, but you ain't giving them shit. So it's like, you could be flirting with people, but and they may have this confusion in your in their head, like, oh, that they're going to get some sex or they're going to get something for you. But you're just taking what you could get from them. You're not giving them shit. You're not putting out shit, but you're going to take what you want from them. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, I, I feel like a pack rat. It's like you can have someone over there giving you this and someone over there. And it's like, ever you're fucking all of them and you don't care or you're not fucking none of them and you just working them and you ain't giving nobody shit because you being stingy bitch and you don't care about people's feelings like that's what I'm kind of getting and I feel like that's your recourse because 
of what people have done to you in the past and I definitely feel like y'all still have some wishes and thoughts and stuff in your mind about it's like you just can't get it out of your head and you're trying to wait on something good to come to you but at the same time I don't like that Queen of Wands energy in the being in the verse because you're beautiful you can have anything in, that you want but you have to make sure that you're projecting the right energy because I don't like this I don't like how this Four of Pentacles is like if this Four of Pentacles was giving me that you were holding yourself back because you're waiting for the right thing, the correct investment, then that's okay. I feel like this is some type of, for someone, I'm not saying this is for everybody, but for someone, there's someone that is just like, man, on some fuck everybody type of shit. Like, I can have whatever man I want, and these niggas ain't shit to me. I'm just going, you know, like, I'm just doing, like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to spend their money. Do... <laughs> I'm wildin' like shit. Okay. Okay, let's see. Look, you got not today, and then you got keys on the ring. So, I told you. So, again, like, it's like you don't have time for it. It's like there could be a lot of people bitching at you because I feel like they could feel misled. They could possibly have even felt like you were supposed to only be talking to them, but that's bullshit because I never told you I was giving you shit anyway. I, I told you I was dating and I wasn't looking for nothing serious. So, like, I know you want to be with me and shit, but um, I'm not, <laughs> I never said I was offering you anything. If you gave me and you took me on trips and you did all of this, look, I don't want to hear all this shit, bruh. Like, listen, I have other shit that I could be doing. I, I don't want to listen to this shit. So, I don't know if you guys are, like, in, like, a player mood right now. It's like, you have options. Like, you have options. Remember, I said that before this even came out. It's like, you could be just in the, like, fuck people right now. Like, because I feel like there's something still in your mind from yesteryears that you're, it's like, you're taking your time and you're having patience with yourself with trying to get over it. So it's just like right now, it's like, I feel like other people are having to suffer because you can't get over this other thing. You just don't, you just don't have anything to give to nobody right now. I feel like you're just enjoying yourself and I feel like everything will come together like once you can like finally come at peace and resolve or whatever the fuck it is in the past because it's just mental shit because at all them, them other cars that was down there which I'm not about to pull back up and I know y'all want to see him again but I'm not going to pull that shit back up because y'all already know what the fuck it is you understand I do feel like there's people that are just angry with you in love because I feel like you're not giving them the time of day and they feel like they're just an option to you and they are and you don't really want to hear what they fucking got to say. It's just like, whatever. Divine timing is going to send me the right one. Other than that, I'm just going to pick and choose to take what I want. Like, tuh, and throw back what I don't want. And I'm going on vacation in a couple weeks. I don't give a fuck anyway. Like, I'm so serious. <laughs> Aries. Y'all make shit, bro. Alright. Let's clear this up with love. And let's wrap it up. So, give me guidance. for my. Oh, okay. You got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, and then you got the Eight of Swords. Okay. So, um, again, I feel like you guys could be just enjoying yourself right now and just taking some time off and trying to get your mind off of whatever happened in the, in the last portion of of your life okay because with this eight of swords right here it's just like you feel stuck you feel trapped it's i don't know if it's like the people their people mad at you because they feel like you're not giving them what they're desiring out of you but they're not what you're desiring and that's like the thing that's fucking you up right now this wheel of fortune in the reverse it's just like mo what the fuck did i do to get this bad turn of luck it's just like i don't want none of these motherfuckers but shit if they gonna throw that money at me they wanna take me out like i'm not gonna like deny their advances duh but at the same time it's like i feel trapped like i can't figure out what i'm doing wrong what i'm not seeing uh where i should it's just like what the fuck gives like i just feel trapped and this illustrious affair with shit ass luck. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, 
<laughs> you cannot figure heads or tails the way out of just not being surrounded by losers, people that turn you off. It's, it it could start it could start off good, but then quickly it end up in a situation just like damn, like I don't even like this person. Now I feel like I gotta answer this motherfucker phone calls. I gotta deal with someone's emotions. Ugh. So like I don't like is that what's going on? It's like I don't know if someone feeling like you're. Being promiscuous, you're being mean, you're not being, um, it's just like you're not being like a dedicated suitor. Like you are all over the place. You're, you were really dating. You're really not trying to be tied down right now or at least not by this one. You know what I'm saying? Not by this one. And I feel some level of frustration, some anger, because it's like, I don't want to answer your phone calls right now. I got, I got better shit that I could be doing with myself. It's like, I'm just trying to get the fuck and go. Like, whatever the hell it was, thank you, but no thank you. Like, banks closed. Like, my time is, no. Mm-mm. This is someone being very stingy with their time. She's not telling you nothing. He's not telling you nothing. Not offering you no advice, no opinions. Can give you one word answers. Like, mm, yeah. And it's like, with this four of pentacles, it's like, you have it. Like, whatever it is, it's like, you have whatever it is that they want, but you're not giving it. You're not giving. Not you're being mean. You're being a bitch. Like, you gotta be doing something. You gotta be fucking with someone else. It's like, why? 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 Mm. It says, not dealing. Hurt. Avoiding a conversation. A person. A call. Boundaries. Still angry. I don't want... Mm -mm. I don't want to hear about that shit. Keys on the ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. Stringing someone along. A one night stand. So again, I, and I feel like this is like someone is just in for the honeymoon stage while it's good and you can have, like as soon as it gets too emotional or some shit, it's like, oh no, this is on a bad ass sick trip, bitch. No, how the fuck I get to, mm -mm, you, you, mm -mm. nope, mm -mm. nope, 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 can't do it with your butt. So like, but he but that's all folks like I'm serious I feel like you guys are really ended up getting caught up with someone that you're not interested in in the least bit and you're like let me get the fuck out of here cuz uh-uh if he called me one more time I'm gonna have to block his number and put in restraining order cuz I'm not even about to deal anyway I gotta go y'all good looking career and everything like that don't know what you're gonna do over here but over here looks popping God bless you. I love you. <laughs>